as from today, the way you take your tithe and your offering, change it. Tithe is a holy thing for God. In the word of God, God said most, Deuteronomy 14, verse 22. He said, let the people come to the altar and bow before God with their wife and eat. My reason of saying this, blessing is coming. But God needs covenant. God wants people to come to the altar with their family and say, Papa, this is what you bless us. Anytime they pray, prophesy to them. Prophesy to them. Prophesy to them. As you do that, the next months to come in, the harvest will be greater than this church. As from today, never take your tithe with your offering. Separate it. It's a tithe is a holy worship. Tithe is a warfare. Tithe is a covenant. And one thing God will bless this church. As they do the tithe, God begins to walk before them. So from today, the way you take your tithe is changed. I can give you scripture because this time I came with a blessing and I must give instruction as a father so that everyone practice. You, if you are bringing your tithe, go before God with your wife, pray. Papa, I'm bringing my tithe for this. When you stand in this altar, pray. Let your pastor prophesy and lay hands on you. Every day, miracle will happen. Amen. These things are not done by churches. It is when God visits his people. That is why when Abraham met Melchizedek, he called him. He said, come. He said, I give you tight. When he gave him tight, he laid hands on him. He gave him wine, which is the blood of Jesus. He gave him bread, which is the body of Jesus. And the man of God said, now, your cross from your father's womb is broken. And then he said, from today, Abraham, you are possessor of heaven. If you go heaven, God will answer you. If you go earth, earth will answer you. Then he said, from now, I give you key. Abraham, look. From that day, his story changed. Your story will change. Your story will change. So every Sunday pray, carry it, lift the tide up. Say, God, this is your people. Then God will open the windows of heaven because they have eaten with God. So tide is not eating, dropping. It's eating with God at order. And when we do it on order, by the time you open that door, doors are open. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Blessing is coming. Amen. Prosperity is coming. Amen. Marriages are coming. Amen. Women, start dressing because this year we'll be doing wedding. Amen. Some of you go look for shop and look for white dress, long white. With diamond inside, we'll be singing for you in this church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, there is so much oil in me this afternoon. Today I'll preach 20 minutes. Pastor, don't let me preach long. Okay. <laughs> I tell you because I'll be changing very soon. But first, I want to thank all my great men. Congratulations for your good job for singing. Amen. The Lord bless you for your work. 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 Sometimes you push you love them. You don't know what it takes for somebody to beat drums for you to put your leg. You don't know what it takes this man to sing for a long time with the same voice. Sometimes when you see him, say, brother, God bless you. I salute you with the blessings of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank all the workers who have helped this work today. If this church will not be here, all of you, your mothers in Nigeria will be worried. Yes. Don't make a mistake. Mm. 
Your mothers will every day call you from Africa. But because of this church, your mother can sleep. Mm. Never leave your Bible for somebody. Keep your Bible for your life. Amen. Your sources is not what you do. Your sources is what God gives you. Yes. I have lived in Europe for 26 years. I have preached the whole continent of the world. I have seen people, like I told you, who we started journey. Some of them are old. They can't even walk again, but I'm still young. Amen. Some of them are mad. When you go to Hamburg, where we started our life, some of them are walking on the street, picking food on ground. Some are in Ghana, some are in Canada. If I go preach and look at them, their life is worse because they don't have the word of God. You have the word. Keep it. Amen. Because one day, your word will fight for you. Amen. Everything will pass away than the word of God. Will not pass away. I love you so much. My heart is touched. The first time I came here, the way Pastor Samuta and Mama treat me, I said, These people want to change me. Since I moved, my children came to university. I don't travel. I have big meetings. I stop. I've started a work, big like your church now. We are not doing some things very soon you will see it. So I decided not to travel. I wanted to build a church for them. I've told them after I finish, I'll start traveling. It's only your church where I come. Even my churches in Germany, I don't go there. Because God wants me to plant a seed for this ministry. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. My coming here has changed the realm. The atmosphere is changed. Amen. You may say, Pastor, what are you saying? I know where I'm coming from. I didn't come with stomach and bread. I come with the Holy Ghost power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is your turn. Amen. As I come back again, I don't know this year. That one, I don't want to promise you. It's hard. But any time I will see you, I will not see you as I see you today. Amen. Everyone will carry testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't be afraid. Every gate is open. Amen. Today I will preach a short word and I will bless everyone. Amen. But after everything, some of you will be rejoicing today. Amen. Because I'm convinced. Yes. I'm convinced. Hallelujah. Amen. My God is able. He's able. My God is able to carry me.